was really close. Inbound, there's another one over there. All right, so okay. this is the uh, Condor Tornado holster. Right now, normally, normally there's a strap going through here. Similar to this, this is actually my own strap that I threw on here because it's thicker. I just liked it a little bit more. I had it in my gear bag, you know. I don't know where it came from, but um, I just replaced it just because it's very easy to replace. Um, normally, there's another strap going through here, and the holster would sit about here, where this top strap would sit here, and this this bottom strap would sit about here. Um, and then there's a there's just normally a piece that comes up from here that would link around your belt. Um, a while back, I just decided to to you know change it as you can see just because it was more comfortable for me to do it this way so oh, yeah? Yeah, I can't see uh, that's pretty much it see jumping up and down doesn't doesn't move almost that's at all actually it's kind of nice we are, must have hit him right yeah i think so you know, jump up and down i can't um, see oh I so see uh, let's go yeah, uh draw it seven, three more times so. it's fine like reinsert it so I'm gonna leave it here. Greg, would you? So you can see, uh, yeah, he's out for it, baby. uh, is he? You, you know, it's unlatched, right? So let's uh, let's do a little he's test here. Him. Gonna jump up and down. He's not in yet. If he's coming out. You know, the gun isn't coming out at all, actually. Um, imagine, you know, if I if I flipped. Oh, okay. You know, if I flipped upside down, you know, I bet you would fall out. T8's pretty, pretty thinks a pretty solid yeah, brick, yeah, so um, I know with my tip X, I've definitely climbed uh, off of walls, you know, sideways like that, and it didn't fall out, but my tip X weighs probably a solid, like, half of this, if not more, so. <laughs> yeah, so I love this thing, though. It's great. As you can see, even with a T8, you know, as heavy as the T8 is, it's not moving. What's doesn't move almost at all. I, 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 this isn't mine. This is my buddy's. But I, I could almost see myself uh, running this as a sidearm. You know, I've never actually put it in this holster before. But uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. So let me let me pop this off real fast and uh, do a little do a little uh, uh showing of how the thing works. Nobody's shooting with a helicopter again. So um. Oh, I'm sorry. By the way, that's my uh, yeah. that's my Arma my Arma group flying. chatter in the background talking. So right oh, now, they're shooting at the helicopter. Uh, see, pull the uh, see. I have this thing pretty jammed in here too. I'm like, that's pretty hard to get out of there. You know, I'm gonna flip it upside down now. You see, I'm holding it by that uh, by just that pouch on the front. I'm not putting any extra pressure on the gun. Just shaking that. Uh, you know, that took quite a bit of force to knock out of there. So, it's not as good as Kydex. You know, Kydex, it probably would have never actually fallen out of the, uh, fallen out of the holster. But, you know, that, that, that required quite a bit of force to get out of there. Um, now, oh, just side note. I know you're probably wondering, but, uh, the, uh, this front pocket will not hold the, uh, the T8 mag. So, uh, you can kind of throw that idea out the window. Um, I don't think it's big enough to fit one of those Enola Gay grenades either. It'll definitely fit one of those mini ones, but not the normal size ones that they sell everywhere. So, um, so yeah, you know, it all, it just adjusts based on this, this Velcro right here. Wraps around, just undo it right there. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty simple. Um, and you can, you can adjust it to be any tightness essentially on any gun you want. It's pretty sweet. Um, I know one time a while ago, just to mess around, I uh, I threw I threw my buddy's MKP2. It was a, I think it was a it was a scar setup, and I threw that in there. I was running around the house with it on my hip, and it uh, <laughs> it wasn't falling out, so I was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. I I suggest it to everybody. There's a bunch of dudes in my local area, and you, know, you might see uh brother Goose commenting and stuff. I'm pretty sure he bought one of these two. Uh, he loves it, so um. The thing's awesome. You know, I think it's like 20 bucks or something. Definitely worth the money um, if you can't afford Kydex. Of course, Kydex will always win in any test, but, um, you know, if you're on a budget or if you just you just like just like soft gear more, like I prefer soft gear, um, this is definitely worth your money. So, yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, yeah.